In this video, we will introduce how to use the SIP flows feature of Wireshark. As you might know, we can use the VoIP call feature in Wireshark to analyze SIP call messages. Well, in the VoIP world, it's not all about SIP call messages. If we need to analyze other SIP message flow like register packets, options packets, etc. How can we do it by Wireshark? So here is the SIP flow feature. SIP flows is a bit like the VoIP calls feature which allows us to view the SIP message in the graphic view. The difference is, SIP flows support all SIP messages including the SIP invite packets. And it supports checking different SIP messages in the same view. Ok, let's check it out it works. Open up cap file. SIP flows is located on the same menu of VoIP calls. When you click it, Wireshark will automatically filter out the SIP packets. We can sum filters on the top. Not all of them we need to focus on. But I would like to introduce the flow sequence first. It's the same feature as the one in the VoIP calls menu. The difference here is we can see the message other than invite. We can see options, register, notify, etc. This feature can help us have a better view of the issue. For example, we can any message flow, and see the actual visual results. Then, let me pick the useful filters. One of the advantages of the SIP flow is that it can help us to sort out the required SIP message flow quickly. Therefore, it's quite helpful when you filter from a big cap file. From and to filter, it presents the from and to header value of a SIP packet. If we know the number in the from or to header in advance, we can use this filter to sort the message we need quickly. For example, find the SIP message number starting with 1000 in from header. Click the from column, and sort it by descending or ascending order. Then find the value of 1000 in the list. Duration and packets, it presents the duration of the SIP message of the same call ID flow and the amount of the SIP message packets. Usually, the more packets, the longer duration. The duration and packets could not totally reflect the issue. You will need to combine it with the comments filter. State and comments, state filter cannot totally reflect the issue, it's better to enter into the flow sequence to check the packets flow. As to the comment filter, you can see the request and response of a SIP message flow. For example, options without response. Options with response. Well, we now have a basic acknowledgement of the SIP flow feature. Let's see how it is used in a practical case. Here we use a new AXTA integration as an example. Here is a cap log about UXTA call flow. We can see the info packet was sent before, during, and after the call flow. During the call, PBX will send an info packet to inform the IP phone to do proper action. And the phone will update its state by info packet. Alright, guys. This is what we in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get more details about troubleshooting. Check out our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration. Please visit our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.